All right, so here's our brisket. I got this at Costco. This is a choice grade. Uh, what's the poundage? This is 7.6 pounds. $7.99 a pound. So I paid $61.20. All right. All right, guys. So here's the brisket after the cut. Now, started off with a little over seven and a half pound brisket. Now I got five and a half pound brisket. Closer to six pounds. I had to take a good portion of it off because over here it was very, very thin. And if I would have cooked it that way, it just would have dried out. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to throw some some of this rub I made on. It's just salt, pepper, some uh, paprika, and some garlic powder. That's it. All right, so we're at 147 right now, 255. First time I'm checking this out. Smells good. Looks like it's pretty moist. Maybe a little drying on the edges. That's something you gotta worry about when you're using the Smoky Mountain. What happens is the heat comes up the sides, it gets deflected off the bowl here, comes up the sides, then back down on top off the dome. So this is the fat cap up. On the Smoky Mountain, if you use an water pan, you always want to do fat cap up. Just gonna give the sides a nice little spritz. I'm just using water. The wood I have in is maple. That's it. Probably I'll let this go a little while longer. It was 6.6, uh, .6. that's what we cooked. We took a little off, but we're gonna save that for another cook. Um, we did salt, pepper, garlic, and paprika. Uh, I cooked on Weber Smoky Mountain. Whenever you're cooking a big piece of meat using the water bowl, you definitely want to do fat cap up. Um, what else? We used maple wood. We put the meat on at nine o'clock this morning. By 12, we hit the stall. Uh, the bark wasn't 100% ready, so I did about an hour and a half in the stall. Then once I felt the bark was good, I wrapped it. I believe that was about 155. It hit the stall in high 140s. I think it was like 148. It just started flatlining. Anyway, um, I wrapped it with aluminum foil. You know, it was just a flat, so I didn't want to chance it. So. I didn't want to use paper, I, I used foil on this one. Yeah, so I wrapped it around 1.30. By 3.30 it was done, it was at 2.05 and it was probing really nice. So, we're gonna open it up and see what we got. I haven't done a flat in a while. I did it once and it was bad. And that was many, many years ago. We got a lot of juice here. Oh, yeah. All right, we're gonna cut into this brisket. I'm gonna cut it right down the middle. See what's what. All right, let's get a little look. Looks nice. I'm not gonna squeeze it, but definitely listening. Hmm, that's good. Alright, I'm gonna 
start cutting a couple slices. Nice. All right. Let's see what this looks like. All right. That's a good bend to it. A little nice little smoke ring. 